Kitty Vitty, the village, is relentless, relentlessly charming, quaint, and photogenic. It seems tailor-made for walkers, ramblers, and wayfarers. Kitty Bitty Gut, the harbor, was shimmering, and the half-dozen colorful fishing sheds on its north side were bathed in the glow of the retreating sun. Exiting our vehicle, I almost felt compelled to start roving around on foot to explore the narrow roads, view the water, the boats, and architecture, and maybe see something new or different. But we had an early dinner reservation at Mallard Cottage. Mallard Cottage is a duality, two contrasting personalities. It has the original door rooms of almost two centuries, drenched in history, likely home to ancient tokens or spirits, and literally smelling aged. And the relatively new, sprightly half at the rear with large dining area, open kitchen and wheelchair accessible restrooms. We were seated in the moody old part. When I looked through Mallard's small, simple, panel-curtained front window, it was next to our table, I was reminded of the view through my grandparents' window. It too overlooked a harbor. Mallard's window had a soapstone carving and kerosene lamp on the sill. More lamps, crockery, and a toy dory decorated Mallard's corner sideboard. The center of the room was dominated by a two-sided wood-burning fireplace, complete with wood pile, built, according to current owner, restaurateur, and chef Todd Perrin, of bricks from the room's original fireplace. Mallard's cod cheeks were served in a bowl with a spoonful of creamy aioli and excellent coleslaw. The cheeks had been coated and deep fried, resulting in golden brown pieces of cheek. Larger pieces were best, with lots to chew on. Mallard's aioli helped. Spouse began with cold sliced pork tenderloin. It was served attractively in a silver dish. Presentation was simple, a tranche of overlapping pork slices anointed with a quick drizzle of balsamic reduction, strewn with hazelnuts and fresh basil leaves. It was all about the pork, delicious, tender, moist, and perfectly accented by the vinegar. We both savored the braised beef with confit potato. Everything had a gossamer coating of jus. Underneath gobbets of braised beef, not a mingy portion, were confit potatoes, meaning potatoes lightly cooked, slowly, in olive oil. In amongst the meat and spuds were bits of caramelized onion and green garlic. Beneath the feast was plenty of zippy chipotle aioli. We decided that when all three main elements, beef, potato, aioli, were eaten in the same chew, it created a superb taste. Another Mallard meat and potatoes dish featured kappa. Kappa, I suspect you may be wondering, refers in this case to a cut of fresh pork shoulder. Slices of kappa, covered in bread dressing, were served with braised shallots over mashed potato. Finally, veal jus was carefully spooned over meat and potato. It was another dish where delectable, tender meat, nicely prepared potato, and an accent sauce made something so good I can't wait to have it again. Dessert was a platter of various small confections, neither of which most eaters would turn down. Chocolate truffle, glazed donut holes, think Timbits only better, flourless chocolate cake, white chocolate fudge, and chocolate mousse. I liked everything because these treats were house made with skill and rich, high quality ingredients. More manna came with the bill, frangible looking pieces of white chocolate bark, so thin they evaporated on the tongue. Mallard Cottage at Eight Barrows Road, Kitty Vitty Village, receives an excellent rating of three stars out of four. Dinner for two with cocktails, wine, tax, and tip costs approximately $170. For reservations, call 
237-7314.